Welcome to God's Word Fellowship. I'm Gerald Santiago. This is the Healing School. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, you are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals us. Father, we pray you teach us your word and your ways. Father, we pray you grant us wisdom, knowledge, understanding and revelation in your word, your will and your love. Father, we pray you grant us ideas, concepts and insights. Father, we pray you show us great and mighty things that we do not know. Father, we pray you show us wonderful things out of your word. Father, we thank you for word in due season. Father, we thank you for answers and solutions. Father, we pray you stretch out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Father, we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, we serve a good God, don't we? Right? We serve El Shaddai, the Lord Almighty, the living God. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 53 and read verse 4 and 5. Aren't you glad that we serve the living God, the Most High who is thinking about us, who is helping us, who is sustaining us and who is always ready to help us in our life, to support us. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let's read from verse 4. Surely he has borne our griefs, our sicknesses and diseases, and carried our sorrows, our pains. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement, the punishment of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. Let's go to Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Let's read from verse 16 and verse 17. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and healed all. Say that with me. That's a beautiful word. All. And aren't you glad it was not some, it was not select few, it was a chosen few, right? It wasn't those who were destined to be healed, uh, those whose fate was, to, like some people would say, whose fate was to be healed, right? Or uh, the favorite ones who were healed. No. What does the Bible say? He healed all that were sick. Say that with me. All that were sick. That's our Jesus. He healed all. Anybody who approached him in faith for their healing, he healed them. He never sent back one person who came to him by faith without healing them. All of them were healed. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let's read verse 17. Why did Jesus do that? That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Esaias the prophet, saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Our Lord Jesus took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses on the cross. You know, when Jesus was on the earth, he healed people based on what he was going to do. But now, in our time, the cross is behind us. It has already been done. And how much more will the Lord Jesus heal all who come to him today? Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm 103. Psalm 103. This is a beautiful passage of Bible. Now, this is one of those Psalms you should be claiming for yourself daily. Right? This is a beautiful passage, full of blessing. And this talks about the benefits that we receive from our God. Right, Our loving Father gives us these great benefits. And verse 3 talks about uh, a couple of benefits that we receive from God. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Notice how they flow together. God forgives all your iniquities. God also heals all your diseases. Not some. God doesn't f forgive some iniquities. He heal, I mean, he forgives all iniquities. And in the same manner, he doesn't just heal some diseases. He heals all diseases. So he healed all people and he will heal all diseases. There are no exemptions. Right? God doesn't say, oh boy, that's a little too much for me. I don't think I can do anything. You have to just suffer with that. Now, God will never say that to you. Hmm? He heals all diseases and he heals all, everyone. Do you understand that? Hallelujah. We serve a good God. Let's read verse 4 also. It's good. 
who redeems your life from destruction notice how god redeems our life from destruction that would be a very good verse to hold on to in this time right <laughs> hold on to that god redeems my life from destruction god will keep me god will protect me right el shaddai will keep me as the apple of his eye right this these are good verses to hold on to eh right? do that read the, these kind of words should be stored up in your heart you should go over you know go and read these verses again and again and again fill up your heart and your mind with these words not words of fear right do you understand this hallelujah let's continue our study in numbers 21 you know i i i endeavored to you know spend some time studying that part about the bronze serpent you know it's that that's a type of our lord jesus in the old testament and uh, jesus himself you know teaches that and um, it it's a great passage and that will help us during this particular time let's read about it let's read from verse 4 and they journeyed from mount hor by the way of the red sea to compass the land of edom and the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way notice the soul of the people was much discouraged now this is what we spoke about um, last tuesday i think right and um, so you know as we go through troubling times and if you are not careful to look to the word of god and read and to study and meditate on the word of god and listen to good faithful messages you know your soul can get discouraged you may have started well you know some people you know they they start well they say hallelujah brother god will help us god is with us god will take care of us but then as time goes on and when the going gets difficult and uh, the struggle is kind of prolonged it is taking more time than than what we expected they tend to get discouraged now the people of israel did not get discouraged in one day they they were going round and round and round for 40 years for quite some time and uh, and because the way was hard and it went on for quite some time they got discouraged and the people spake against god and as a result of that judgment came upon them let's skip that part and let's look at uh, go let's look at verse 8 and um were said this is the solution the lord gave for the you know for the plague i want you to understand this plague you know fiery serpents right poisonous serpents they 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 entered into the camp right they entered into the camp and um, there were roughly around uh, 3 million israelites living in a very close knit community and they you know the serpents have entered into the camp in huge numbers they are biting people and whoever was bitten by the serpent they are dying they are falling all over the place you know it, this is not something they saw on tv not not on their phone not in youtube not in whatsapp not in facebook or twitter this is not something they read about in the morning newspaper right this this was not a breaking news in some some channel they are watching this right before their eyes it's happening right before them right they can hear it with their own ears they can see it with their own eyes right before their eyes right people are dying people are falling down and uh, <laughs> not not one or two thousands right you know on one side there you know 10 15 people are falling in front of them another 100 are falling and that side another 100 behind them people are falling down and uh, then people are scared you can hear all sorts of screams screams of fear screams of sorrow screams of losing a loved one right people are running scattered here and there trying to escape the fiery serpents that are attacking them right it, it, it's a it's a terrible situation and that is the context in which what we are uh, going to look at happened so you need to know the context because if you don't know the context it won't make much of an impression on you verse 8 and the lord said unto moses make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole and it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten when he looks upon it shall live you know it's very difficult to focus and look at the serpent 
right i look look at the serpent look at something when 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 people are dying on your left dying on your right dying right before you dying behind you people are screaming probably a couple of serpents are standing before you ready to bite you <laughs> you understand that and trying to focus and look at that particular bronze serpent was not easy right it it was not just okay 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 let's make a serpent let's look at it no you have to put yourself in the in their place right probably they are trying to look at a, a look at the serpent and uh, suddenly they can hear the hiss of a serpent right they they can sense the movement of a couple of serpents coming towards their way <laughs> so how are you going to look at that <laughs> hmm? how how are you how are you going to look at that when uh, there is real danger coming against you when you see people being affected all over the place everywhere all around you how are you going to focus but that's exactly what god said they should do they should focus on that particular serpent right read verse 9 and moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole and it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man when he beheld the serpent of brass he lived he lived right when they, they when they were bitten they lived hmm you know how difficult it is naturally speaking you are bitten by a fiery serpent you can see right in front of your eyes that people have died because of that bite right you know this is a fatal bite this is not some just some uh, a little bit of uh, poison now this poison is deadly it will kill you right and you can also see that other people are dying around you hmm yet you have to make a decision and to believe what god said now what god said really doesn't make much sense here in in in, in a natural way what good is it going to happen you look at a, a inanimate object right if god had said you know you should look to the glory right the the um, the cloud of uh, the pillar of cloud or the pillar of fire at least they knew okay that's the presence of god you know i can look at it but god in this particular case you know because you know I mean god works like this right he's always pointing towards jesus so he, even in this case he is pointing towards jesus he is teaching them that you have to look upon jesus who took your curse you know the serpent in the old testament was a cursed animal right you remember in the garden of eden it it, it took upon the it was a cursed animal no other animal has been cursed by god right this animal was cursed right and jesus on the cross took our curse upon himself right jesus is hanging on the cross right he didn't even resemble man right his body his face was so deformed that you, know, you couldn't even look at him and say that this is a man his body had deformed and transformed beyond recognition you couldn't just look at him and say boy <laughs> you you couldn't recognize jesus you couldn't even recognize him as a human being why 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 was jesus's body transformed in that fashion on the cross because the curse and the sin of mankind came upon him right and today this pestilence you know all these pestilences are under the curse of the law if you go and study deuteronomy chapter 28 you will find every form of sickness every form of diseases all forms of pestilences are under the curse right all of them are under the curse um go with me to deuteronomy chapter 28 let me uh, show you a couple of verses hallelujah to jesus glory be to god hallelujah to jesus go to deuteronomy 28 let's read from verse 21 and the lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whither thou goest to possess it 
Verse 22, The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning and with a sword, with a blasting, with mildew and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Right? And uh, you take the time to read all the other um, different uh, passages uh, in the Bible that talk about sickness and disease. In the, um, I'm sorry, uh, go through this particular chapter when you are, uh, you know, once we are done with the message and, uh, and check what the Bible talks about in uh, concerning the curse of sickness. Let me just read one verse for you. Um, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter um, 28, same verse. Let's read uh, verse uh, 61, I think. Yeah, it is 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So you see, every form of sickness, every form of pestilence, every form of plague is under the curse of the law. And the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 13 that Christ has redeemed us. Say Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So you and I don't have to participate in this plague. You and I don't have to become a partaker of this plague. Our portion is health. Our portion is healing. Our portion is long life. We don't have to partake of a curse of the law. Jesus has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Do you understand this? Hallelujah. 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 Jesus has redeemed us from the curse of the law. So keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't be so consumed with what is happening in the world. Don't be consumed with what they are saying in the news. Go and read passages like this. Right? Read Galatians 3 verse 13 and 14. Go and look at what you have been redeemed from in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Right? speak these verses say Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law Christ has redeemed me from the plague Christ has redeemed me from the pestilence Christ has redeemed me hallelujah to Jesus right? you know when the blood of the Lord Jesus is upon you no plague can come near you so plead the blood of the Lord Jesus over you and your family your household right stay with that Stay with that. Hallelujah to Jesus. Yeah. So, speak your redemption from the curse of the law. Speak the blood of the Lord Jesus. Don't put fear in your mouth. God will protect you. God will heal you. God will take care of you. Let's pray now. Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we come to you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Father, you are so good and great and awesome. Father, you are El Shaddai, the Lord Almighty. Nothing is impossible for you. And Father, we pray that you stretch out your hand to heal people right now. To heal from any form of sickness and disease. All kinds of diseases. Every manner of diseases. Father, we read in your word that you forgive all our iniquities and heal all our diseases. Father, we pray that you heal people according to your word right now in the name of our lord jesus let the healing power of god flow in their bodies in the name of our lord jesus christ sickness and disease leave their bodies right now in the name of jesus christ the grip of death be broken from off people in the name of our lord jesus let the chains of death be broken in the name of Jesus, life to their body. In the name of Jesus, let the strength of God fill their bodies. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we thank you so much you healed people. Father, we thank you have restored health back to them. Father, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Father, your love endures forever. Father, your faithfulness endures forever. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. 
glory be to god father we pray for your great mercy upon our country india our states our states our cities our local areas father we pray you stretch out your hand and bring about a mighty deliverance from the corona virus and father we pray that you restore people back to health and father we pray for your mighty protection upon the first responders and their families father we thank you so much for your glorious help in the name of our lord jesus corona virus die and be destroyed in the name of our lord jesus we bind the works of the devil behind the corona virus in the name of our lord jesus let every scheme every plan every device every weapon behind the corona virus be broken and destroyed in the name of our lord jesus life blossom in the name of jesus life prevail in the name of jesus life mightily prevail father we thank you so much for your glorious help for our nation father you are good you are awesome you are wonderful and you are mighty hallelujah to jesus thank you father thank you jesus glory be to god blessed be your holy name father we thank you so much you heard and answered our prayers father in the name of our lord jesus we pray amen thank you so much for listening god bless you jesus is coming soon